With My Home from ABSA, we guide you home with up to 100% financing. Move in and prosper. Today on Guiding You Home. Um, we actually really enjoy living here. The thing that isn't working for us is it is a bit small. But I think most of all, we're looking for a project. We facilitated 21.5 million's worth of accepted offers, but it's without question very successful last four months. What I really love about this living space is you've got these stacker doors that open right up. I really liked that. I thought it was it was very, very nice. I can immediately see massive things that I would do here. Am I understanding that you are leaning towards putting it off in? Very, very, very definitely. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Vibrant, trendy and upmarket are just some of the words that come to mind when you hear the word Parkhurst. Situated in Johannesburg's northern suburbs, this village-like, community-orientated suburb has become one of Johannesburg's most sought-after and popular areas to live, socialise and work in. Homes are relatively small in comparison to other northern suburb homes, but each home offers its own unique charm and character. More and more of Johannesburg's young professionals are investing in real estate in Parkhurst. And fitting in with the suburb's young and trendy lifestyle are real estate professionals Jared Watney and Rebecca Pretorius. My name is Jared Watney. I'm a real estate agent and I work for Chaz Everett International Property Group. I really like facilitating buyers and sellers' needs and there's something strangely enjoyable about placing our family in a home for the next five years. My name is Rebecca Pretorius. I'm a real estate agent and I represent Chaz Everett International Property Group. I enjoy the real estate industry because of how diverse it is and every day has new challenges you have to overcome, so it's very mentally stimulating. Working in a team has been very advantageous, that's for sure. Rebecca's got a very good eye for detail with regards to organisation. She picks up a lot of details where I facilitate a lot of the buyers and sellers' needs and I often end up dealing with them uh, more so on the phone or more so personally. So uh, our strengths definitely facilitate each other's needs. Jared's definitely a people person. Um, he's very driven. I've never met someone of his age who has set goals this high and will do anything to achieve them. He strives to be the best that he can be and I think those are all fantastic qualities to have in this industry. Rebecca's strengths are certainly, I'm going to start with patience, creativity. Whenever Rebecca needs to come up with an answer, she finds a very intuitive way of doing so in a very short space of time. In the last four months, we've facilitated 21.5 million's worth of accepted offers. Uh, we've taken 30 million rands worth of, of offers, but it's without question a uh, very successful last four months. Something actually I love about real estate is that you set the goals, you, you determine how much you can achieve and how much you want to achieve. So for us in, in a five years time, and we've already set goals and in this industry you can achieve them. So how successful you become is completely dependent on how hard you're willing to work. Time to meet today's home buyers. Where are you going to put this in here? Yeah. Okay. My name's Andrew Lefevre. Um, I'm a partner in an optical business called Focus Optical. My name is Steve Clausens. I started my own business about a year ago. I import wireless SIP desk phone devices um, for hospitality. I also do strategic consulting for two uh, software development companies, one local and one international. When I first met Andrew, I was always really embarrassed to ask for a discount. Now it's the first thing I asked for. He's taught me that life is about value. I think first and foremost, we're very, very, very good friends. I would describe Steve as a very, very kind and passionate person. Um, and I think being together for 11 years bears testament to that. Andrew and Stephen put their home on the market a couple of months ago in the hope of buying a more spacious home to suit their lifestyle. They're currently living in a rental apartment in River Club and are hoping to find a home in Parkhurst that they can renovate and make their own. Um, we actually really enjoy living here. It really is very, very pleasant. It's very, very quiet. Um, it's very tranquil. The thing that isn't working for us is it is a bit small. Yeah. No, no, that's quite fine. Oh, okay, I find it stressful. But anyway, we see how we go. <laughs> no, Ideally, I'm looking for something with the right amount of security, with tranquility. But I think most of all, we're looking for a project, property that we can put our own stamp on. Renovations here, 
liquor paint, flooring, and maybe one or two structural changes. Jared and Rebecca are about to meet with Andrew and Stephen at an upmarket Melrose Arch Hotel to see how they can hopefully guide this couple to their dream home. Stephen, Andrew, Rebecca and I got a really good idea of what you're looking for in these particular properties in Parkhurst, but I'd like to make sure I'm on the right track. What are your must-haves with regards to the properties that you're looking for in Parkhurst? Anything from a two-bedroom with, with a study or a three-bedroom with a study, a double garage or even a double carport. Our specifics are, will come down to the structure of the, of the house. And your style, what sort of renovations would you look to do? We'd look to do a, an eclectic take on a modern contemporary okay. type style. So this, the house doesn't have to be contemporary because you sort of want to make it your own? We really want to put our own stamp on it. And, and you know, if the house is partially done, we're not too phased by that. Essentially, phase one is to decorate the property, to make it comfortable for us to okay. live in. Andrew, what sort of price bracket can I work with you? Round about the three million mark is okay. probably um, the, certainly the very top end of what we're looking at. You guys mentioned to me um, that you've renovated in the past. What's your reason for looking to do it again? Now, often if you buy a fully renovated property, you're paying a premium. And I think at the end of the day, it's almost getting it at a wholesale price. So first of all, you've got the benefit of making the home your own and doing what you want to do to it. And the second thing is that you're not paying a premium for someone else's renovations. Mm, and you actually get some equity out of your property when, when it's complete. The financing, how would you look to do the deal? I think what we would be looking to do is put down a deposit and then probably bond the rest. With regards to the location um, in Parkhurst, would you want to be close to the restaurants or...? We quite like a situation where it's fairly tranquil and quiet and private, you know, that kind of thing. But obviously, you know, each, you know, you look at every property on its merits as well. And of course, we do understand there will always be a compromise to the things that we would like mm. <clears throat> compared to what we're going to get. Mm. There will always be a compromise. We'll always compromise. We're always happy. And we're happy to. Fantastic. Yeah. I'll just be very, very <clears throat> sure to be open with you with regards to what you can and can't do in Parkhurst because the last thing I want to do is, you know, put you in a position where you may overcapitalize. So I will always yeah. be very honest with what you can, should and shouldn't do uh, in order to maximize your investment for the potential. And that's, for the future. that's really valuable mm. advice. Mm. So, I mean, that obviously would be fantastic. And I think we'd, we'd rely on you guys to provide us with that information, guiding us into the correct property. Mm. Fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I must be honest, I'm really excited to show you these three houses. Rebecca and I have definitely picked three out for you that I think are going to mm. work with regards to all your requirements. Fantastic, right. Jared. We're very thank excited. Very yes, thank you. I think incredibly, incredibly professional, I must say. And we're looking forward to seeing the houses, yeah. I think Rebecca and Jared make a phenomenal team and I think they will be a force to be reckoned with in Parkhurst. I'm really excited about uh, Andrew and Stephen's requirements. To be honest with you, uh, the requirements that they're looking for is exactly what I'd say between 50 and 60%. So at least half the buyers are looking for what for this kind of house yeah. to incorporate their own love, feel and attention. And Parkhurst has got a lot of the original housing uh, in order to do so, that's correct. Yeah, yeah, and I think because it's so passionate about renovating, the fact that they're looking to do that in Parkhurst is going to be a great investment potential as well. Later on Guiding You Home. So what I really love about this living space is you've got these stacker doors that open right up. I'd probably open plan the kitchen or something like that, but it's a very, very nice space. I think the house also lends itself to what it is that we're looking for in a property. Want to change from this to this? An ABSA home loan will guide you home, make a happy home and prosper.